the RAV uh, EV was something that when Greg talked about uh, what do we need, what, what is going to be uh, the focus for this vehicle. And the number one objective is we wanted to make a fully functional, fun to drive vehicle that had no compromises for the sake of being electric. And one of the elements, of course, that was important was to provide very versatile and functional range. From a customer, when you look at EV, there's range anxiety. Everyone has range anxiety. They think that the vehicle's not going to go as far as they want. They're going to get stuck somewhere and not be able to get back because the battery ran out of charge. We wanted to do is we wanted to basically eliminate that anxiety. And what we did is we paid so much close attention to improving the overall vehicle airflow performance. We spent a lot of time in detail on, on reducing the coefficient of drag of the vehicle. So the first thing that we did was we said, okay, if we're going to take all the best of a global RAV4, what are we going to take? We're going to take the best wheels, which we did. We got the best aerodynamic wheels and tire combination. We took the headlamp lens, which was the best headlight lens that we could. We took a couple other parts that were sort of the best from the global package. After that, we worked on the front fascia to develop sort of the, the best airflow around the front bumper and over the wheel arches. And then we spent a lot of time on minimizing the cooling area to try to optimize the cooling drag as, as well as we could for the electronic needs as well as the aerodynamics. And we developed almost a completely new underbody. So the, the underbody from the, the front bumper all the way to the very back of the battery is, is pretty much entirely new. If you were to put up uh, internal combustion RAV4 and compare it to the, uh, the electric RAV4, um, you, you'll notice underneath that basically the fuel tank and the exhaust system is, is totally gone out of the vehicle. And what we did is in place of that, we put a flat uh, battery in the whole underbody of the vehicle. And what this does is it maximizes the airflow underneath the vehicle. The target for this car was very aggressive. We targeted a 0 .300 CD value. And to get there from the existing platform was actually a lot of work. Uh, we weren't able to change a lot of the upper body style, which is a huge component of the aerodynamic drag. So we were really forced on sort of optimizing all the corners. I consider we're using an existing vehicle, so we wanted to maximize the bumper styling. We looked at the rolling resistance coefficient. We wanted to make sure that we minimize that friction of the tire to the road. Also spats, those are things that you put underneath the vehicle to direct the airflow around the tires to improve the, uh, the, the drag of the vehicle. We wanted to maximize the headlamps and the rear spoiler. The spoiler is one of the biggest single items on the vehicle as far as reducing the drag as a point value for a single component. We were able to actually do some joint development in the wind tunnel with clay and we arrived at something that helps to taper the airflow off the roof and release it smoothly from the vehicle as well as to taper the airflow around the sides. So it helps with the wake pressure quite a bit. When you look at the spoiler, for example, for improving the coefficient of drag, we want to maximize the length of that so that the air would flow past the vehicle and not create any back pressure. So uh, we have extended it uh, probably around 150 millimeters. The changes that we made to this vehicle is equivalent to sort of removing a, uh, a football player training parachute from the back of the car, which you can think, that's not that hard if you're running 40 yards, but when you're driving this thing for 150 miles, having that parachute on the back, that's a pretty significant drag. No, no roof racks is a, is a thing that has come up. What is, what's the story there? Yeah, as, as a big cyclist, I, I apologize about the roof rack, um, but as an aerodynamicist, I think you should put your bikes on the back. So that would be, that would be my suggestion. The roof rack had a couple count improvement, so removing the roof rack, we reduced the frontal area and we reduced the drag a little bit. So it was a decision that was made um, to balance the overall situation, as well as it reduces the weight on the car. So for the customers who do want to have that feature, uh, you know, I, I apologize. We were able to lower this uh, vehicle CD to 0.3, where right now we think, if you look at an SUV, we think it's probably one of the lowest CDs of any SUV out there. I actually think it looks okay. I think it looks pretty good, but that's just me.